A man getting her sex after she'd been ran through is not a winner. A lot of guys, uh, great engineers and doctors, a lot of guys that's been not dating for years, most of their life, they've been going to prep school in conservative households and things of that nature. Well, they cross paths with women, but they don't have that ex much experience with womb men. So they get these degrees and get a good education and get a good job or they become an engineer or something like that, accountant, physicist or something. And then they come across a, a fake conservative attractive woman. Now what's real is she is attractive. She's pretending to be conservative, that's fake. And she's pretending to be innocent, that's fake. She actually been ran through. While you were studying in school, getting your degrees, brother, and working hard, she was sucking ham bone, sucking the football players' ham bone, the baseball players, the soccer players, of course, the basketball players' ham bones in the locker room and the stairway case. She's been getting ran through. So after they just get done with her and she can't wipe them up, she couldn't find a football player, NFL player, all she could do is get the get an experience of come across the ham bone, but she couldn't come across somebody who wanted to take her seriously because her heart is not in the right place. She don't have no control. She has no loyalty. She's so loose with her ham bone. Maybe if she go to the altar and find Jesus Christ, Jesus may, can make a change with her. But that's a very rare occasion. It happens, but it's very rare. Most of these women, uh, for them to have that type of mindset to go get ran through like that, evidently they want to be carefree. They don't want to submit. They don't want to have a God to tell them what to do. They don't want to be morality bound. So what happens is they get ran through. They get ran through. And then here you go, come along. You've been working hard or working hard all your life, getting educated. You finally making, you finally making about one hundred and fifty, two hundred thousand a year, starting off or more. And she comes trying to seduce you, showing you her leg, tell you taking her out on a date. She coming to you and talking to you, saying, "You want to go to lunch?" She acting all aggressive because she can sense that you're green. She can sense that you don't have that much experience even though you're 30 years old, even though you're 28, even though you're 26, 25, 30, 35, you don't have that much experience. All she gotta do is show her cleavage to you, bend over in front of you and let you see a little bit of that crease. Let, let you see a little bit of that crease in them dimples back there. All of a sudden you like, oh man, she's trying to play on your senses. She's trying to reel you in. I think I got a big bass. I think I got a big one this time, Gus. Hey, Gus. Hey, Gus, I think I got a big one this time. She's really in like she's fishing. She gonna hold you, she gonna hold you like this on a souvenir. <laughs> she gonna hold you by the hand like this on a picture like you a fish. She done caught you. Wild caught. That's what you call a. That's what you call a wild caught. She's gonna hold you up like on a picture, like you're a wild caught fish. Don't don't you fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Many of you guys are falling for the banana in the tailpipe. You have to control your mind and your senses. You have to control your mind. You have to control your mind in your senses. You have to learn how to control. I know you want, I know you want some good old sex. I know you want to jump up and down that thing. I know you want to do that. But it's a time for it with the right person. Most of these women, 
gonna have you taking care of a child that's not yours. Literally, literally. You're gonna be taking care of Pookie and Ray Ray, baby, but she gonna say it's by you. And she's gonna train you that you better not never ask me if this child is yours. She's trying to train you. She's trying to train you, brother. She's trying to cloud your mind up by her beauty. You know it's witches out here. You know a lot of these, you know it's demonic women out here. You know that's the devil's right hand weapon, the woman, since the beginning of what? Time. It's the land before time. It's the land before time. It's the land. The devil's right hand weapon is a womb man. Because the devil, the God supposed to use women, women that were designed by God to be helping man. But God said, you, but the devil say, I'm going to reverse all of God's plan. I'm going to try to reverse it and make, instead of helping a man, I'm going to make them tear down a man. I want to make God mad. That's what happens. He's just trying to make God mad. He already know he lost. He know God love you so much. He love you so much, you human beings. But we have to have some self-control in order for the devil to flee because he need bodies. Why you think they trying to do AI and synthetic this and synthetic that? They trying to find a place to put these demons in. You know, Siri and them has been spotted of, Siri and them has been taking people to the wrong locations, graveyards and all that stuff. Look it up. AI is demon. It's artificial intelligence, all right. Yeah. Well, them demons in that junk talking. One of these days, Siri gonna say, go left, go right. <laughs> right into the wall. Da, 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 da. <coughs> Be careful, y'all. Open your mind up. Stay prayed up for discernment. You know what discern, discernment is? It's wisdom downloaded from God. Let me hear you say God. Say God with some enthusiasm. Say God. God. Don't you want the spirit of God in your blood vessels? Do you know what you can do when you get anointed by God? Do you know the type of superhuman abilities you're able to do? Mr. Ask Samson. He tore down the columns. <clears throat> Ask Elijah. He outran a he outran a horse chariot. Boom! Talking about flash. Elijah would have smoked flash. Ask Enoch. He's been he took he took he got a tour from the heavenly beings, the watchers. The watchers took Enoch into their little spheres. Some of you guys might be seeing them in the sky. You ever see the little light bulbs and some of the ships that the watches and them be having? Hey, what they call it, the third heaven, the first heaven? Come on, man, do your research, man. Enoch never tastes death. Jesus never tastes death. And Elijah never tastes death. Do you think you have to die? <laughs> you thought you had to die, didn't you? I bet you thought you had to die. You thought you just had to die, didn't you? Come on, man. No, my child. There's a lot more that meets the eye. You don't have to die. You can oscillate, regenerate. You, you put enough God power in your body. You'll be surprised what happened to your cells when you put God light, when you put the anointing in your cells. The spirit of God get in your blood vessels. What you think will happen? What you think gonna happen when the spirit of God get in your blood? Hmm? You think you're gonna decay? You think you're gonna decay, buddy? You're not gonna decay, boy. You're not gonna decay if you put the spirit of God in your blood vessels. That's what they don't want you to know. 
try to tell you something good. Try to tell you. Don't make me get my cowboy head out there. I got one in there. I'm about finna bring it out on you. I'm about finna bring the cowboy head out right out on there on you, boy. Telling you some good stuff. I'm trying to tell you some good shit, man. I'm trying to tell you some good shit, man. Oh yeah. It ain't nothing but water. I'm not drunk. This is a natural high. Just trying to let you know, man. I'm trying to let you know. Do not wife up no ran through woman unless god has rejuvenated her you you can pray for her from a distance you can be her friend but you're not winning if your wife are up you better run for us run for us run run for us run for us you better run for us run for us run run for us run for us you better run for us run for us run i'm alan reagan there i love y'all reagan and nation <clears throat> Let's give a shout out to Malone. Malone, 90% of the time, Malone is the first guy in my comment section. Malone, I love you, Malone. Shout out to you. You've been there from the beginning, the beginning of the journey. Malone, I give a shout out to you, brother. <clears throat> if you ever need anything, message me on the Instagram, call me on Instagram. Only Malone. Everybody else, everybody else, you're going to need a consultation. But Malone is the first person. I can drop, soon this video drop, nine times out of ten, Malone will be like, thumbs up. I do lives Monday through Thursday, guys. I do lives between four and six. Some, and I do lives on my Instagram at nighttime between between 12 and 1 or between 11 and 1 if you're if you're a nighttime person um if you want to get notifications for my lives make sure that you press the bell the bell is on the screen you see the bell on the, on the screen on the, on the right hand hit that bell so you can be notified notified when I'm on doing when I'm on live okay hit that bell and oh, don't forget to donate brother Azim has donated he's winning a donation a thing everybody a lot of guys are donating i give a shout out to all you guys is donating i forgot the list again in the room it's a long list of people i only can name a few but uh zim is the first one is always donating um uh it's a couple other guys uh that's been donating as well <coughs> um much love to you if you're getting anything out of the page, feel free to donate on a regular basis. Like I say, I do lives from Monday through Thursday from 4 to 6. I mean, between 4 to 6, I usually start. So I'm going to start trying to give y'all an hour. But I've been doing them for like 30, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But, um, yeah, feel free to donate. Don't forget to hit the Instagram. Subscribe to my other YouTube page that's in the description box. I'm about to start launching some, some massive material on there. Okay? I'm going to start. That's going to be a more of a some massive material, a little comedy. Um, it's going to be a little bit of different style, a different type of talk. But uh, stay prayed up. In Jesus' name, follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. Alan Rillionaire Show is the Instagram. A L L A N. Alan Rillionaire Show is the Instagram. Um, follow me on Instagram. You can do a consultation. You want to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one. on Instagram. Message me. Let me know how much time you want. Yes, I do consultations all day, every day. And that's why sometimes I'll be looking sleepy and I'll be yawning when I'll be doing these. Haven't yawned in a while, though. Kudos. I haven't yawned in a while on the videos. At least not this week. Last week, I was... I was like this. <sighs> Anyway, much love to you. I'm Alan Ray in there. I'll talk to y'all soon. Uh, download the Netflix and Chill song. Make your videos of you and your girlfriend or just you and a female hugging with the Netflix and Chill hook in the background, and I'll post it before my videos, okay? Much love to you. 
I'm Alan Williams, the Millionaire. Stay prayed up, much love, and I'll talk to you soon. All right? Thank God that we're still here and alive, still got our limbs, still breathing the air, still can walk. We're still in one piece. May God bless you all. Don't forget to donate, follow me on TikTok, follow my other Inst follow me on Instagram, and follow my uh, subscribe to my other YouTube pages, okay? And uh, check out the description box. Everything you need is in the description box. The Cash App, PayPal, everything you need is in there. Much love. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. I'm out.